Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today is uh, video three of um, Edith Holden month, uh, Edith Holden collaboration that uh, Carol at Free Spirit Arts and myself are hosting. And uh, before we get started, I'm going to light my candle here. And I do light my candle um, when I come into my art room um, just to um, set, set an intention of being um, productive and also having fun and, um, you know, relaxing and remembering to breathe and all those um, good things. And uh, I'm also sending it out to... Just anyone that feels like they need a little, a little extra um, hug, um, love, healing thoughts, all of those things, um, I do. I, I, I honestly do think about individual people in my life that I know are hurting, and every day I send them, even if it's just a quick little thought. Um, you know, just hoping that they feel better, they're they're able to heal, um, and yeah, that's uh, important for me. So, so that's another reason why I light my candle. And I'm gonna put this aside. So, since I uh, was last with you, I have made a few more pieces of ephemera, um, and these are just. Um, from pages that I cut out, like they're not fussy cuts or anything like that. And uh, I already did a few of those in video one. So if you want to see um, how I did those, you can look. Um, this this is just as simple as I cut this out of the book and I'm going to put it in the journal as a tuck. I think that'll be really cute. Didn't do anything to it, just inked around the edges, really simple. Um, this is a pocket uh, there. Uh, this is another little pocket. Again, didn't do anything to it. Um, I just think it's interesting the way it is. Um, Edith's, Edith's um, art and her lettering is just um, beautiful, and I feel very lucky that I get to be able to, to make something out of it. So on these ones, a lot of times, like like this one, you know, it has uh, the words are already on the page. Um, some of these, I just went through the text and um, I liked this little quote that she wrote um, on the front page of Dece uh, September, I believe. September dries up wells or breaks down bridges. And I love that because it's either feast or famine drought or floods basically so so that's what uh, this is just added some lace and some burlap and they're all backed um, this one does need a pull um, I wonder oh, might do that I don't know I might wait until I um, put it in the book uh, this Again, beautiful, beautiful illustration. Um, just did this, some words from things that she wrote, fungus growing in the wood. Um, again, I don't know how I'm going to use this, if it's going to be a, a, you know, slide in a slide somewhere, pull out the top. It could actually be a tuck spot. I'm not sure. So I didn't um, make it a tag or put a um, tab or anything on it. And that's the same with this one. Um, same thing not sure how I'm going to use it um, again this one uh, really precious really like it um, this is one of my favorites oh, so sweet um, yeah so that's that's what I made oh, one more here autumnal earth autonomal how do you say that how do you guys say that Anyway, that's that. So in this video, I'm going to make tags from uh, fussy cuts. So um, some of these, I've, I've, a couple of them I've kind of pre-planned, um, and the rest of them I'm actually not positive what I'm going to do. 
um, but I thought this would be cute here. Um, and I'm not sure if this should be up here. So fair on September 1st, fair for the month. So that's, that's kind of cute. Um, or it could go at the bottom, which might be a little bit better. Maybe have this come, come over here a bit. Yeah, like that. Okay, I think that's as simple as it's going to be. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all uh, having a good day. Uh, I'm not sure which day this is posting. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to film ahead um, a bit because um, um, next. Well, the, the 11th, not the 11th, the 8th of September, I am um, I'm going on a women's weekend, um, only we start on Thursdays, and I won't be home till Sunday, and when I get home from Sunday, on Sunday, I'm going to pick up, um, we, we have a guest coming on Sunday, and I'm not sure how long he's staying, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back in my room. Um, which is really sad because that's all I want to do is be in here creating. So um, I'm looking for my glue book. Where is it? Can't see it. Well, maybe I'll just pull this out. this I can use so yeah and then the first week of October um, my husband and I are going to Alaska for vacation um, pretty excited about that it's a uh, it's some place that we both always wanted to go and we had some credits from a trip we were supposed to take in March of 2020 and did not because everything closed down so um, so we decided to go to Alaska we decided without really even thinking about it to go in what is considered the off season so we're kind of nervous about things being open, um, but hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be all good. Um, we're flying into Anchorage, and then uh, we're renting a car. And um, it it's kind. Of, um, my husband has um, pretty bad vestibular damage, and um, things like well, even an air, airplane could possibly set off his, um, his, uh, well, the vestibular disease causes uh, vertigo, dizziness, um, nausea, headaches, um, stomach discomfort, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we can't go like on a small, I, I would love to go on a float plane around. I would just love that. But you know what? He, he can't. He, that's not something he can do. Um, so, and I also would love to um, do one of those um, glacier cruises. Um, they have day, like day cruises, uh, wilderness cruises, glacier, and they're they're year round. Um, but again, if it's a rough day. Um, you know he he just wouldn't uh, he can't take it and then the whole trip's ruined um, because he can be sick for a few days so anyway um, so we're renting a car and then um, we'll be doing a lot of driving <laughs> um, we decided to go down to Seward and walk 
there, there's a hiking trail. Um, I looked it up. It's easy. It's actually wheel, wheelchair accessible, so I know I'll be able to walk it. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we're going to do that. So that's, that's one fun thing. Spend the night down there. Um, and then we're just going to travel from, from there, um, all the way up to Fairbanks, which I'm not sure. I think it's from Seward. It's probably, I don't know, 400 miles, maybe, maybe a little bit more, but the roads are not great. They're not freeways. Like, like we're used to they're you know they're not always in the great in the greatest of shape and you know sometimes there's wildlife in the road and just stuff like that so it you know as it is it says that it takes seven hours to travel from Anchorage to Fairbanks and we're already going to be two hours south of Anchorage so that's you know we'll be stopping along the way um and we'll probably I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way to Denali Park, but we'd like to stay. Yeah, we're going to map it out. We didn't, we haven't actually reserved hotels yet because we weren't exactly sure what we wanted to do. So I'm, I'm hoping to spend the most time in Fairbanks. Um, best chance to see the Northern Lights is Fairbanks. The North Pole is very close to Fairbanks, so I know... We'll be spending a lot of time there, um, be starting some Christmas shopping, and then there's some hot springs there, and um, yeah, it just looks like a really cool place, so so I'm excited for that, so that'll be good. But I get, uh, I have, uh, you know, well, I have all kinds of anxiety, but I definitely have travel anxiety. And I just have to keep telling myself, you know, we can buy stuff there. We can buy stuff there. It's not the end of the world. Okay, there's one. Now, this one. I chose this paper. So this, this paper is one that's in the Waterfall Journal. And then this paper, this is actually the, the same paper I used for the cover. So I thought that would be really pretty. So, um, so yeah. And then again, I just cut some words out from the September uh, introduction page. September is Gerst month, month, and Barley month. I'm not sure what Gerst month means. Um, I'm guessing it's a different language. German, maybe. Um, yeah, so we're excited because we have someone that's um, coming to stay at the house and take care of the dogs and make sure my parents are okay and um, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, technically it's it's like our 40, 40 year anniversary um, trip. We, um, we didn't take one at 35. Five, did we? I have to think about that. 25, we went to New York. 30, we went to Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine. Did a road trip. We like to road trip. Oh, I think it was, yeah, we did, um, we did a road trip for our 35th, um, and we we flew to Arizona to Phoenix, rented a car, and then drove north. Um, and that was that was a lot of fun. Um, saw places, you know. Again, bucket list items. Saw the Grand Canyon. Had not, you know lived in the United States all of our lives and never seen the Grand Canyon, so that was cool. Zion Park. So yeah, we like to travel for our big anniversaries so so yeah I'm looking forward to it even though it's probably going to be cold and rainy but from what I've read about Alaska in October it's actually a really 
good time to go because there's not a lot of crowds. So like a lot of the trails and things, you have them all to yourself. So, and the cruise ship season is over. So there, there's none, you know, none of that going on. How pretty is that? It's just so pretty. Of course, it's pretty, um, pretty background paper. Okay, so I think I'll do some green paper on this one. So funny I forgot I was recording for a second <laughs> I've been working in here like all morning just doing my thing <laughs> that's funny I was just letting my white mind wander just thinking about nothing in particular <laughs> So I do like the look of the um, fussy cut tags. Um, however, it is not easy to fussy cut these pieces out. Um, but they look great. Yeah, they're really, really, really pretty. Okay, so then I have um, two more here. I was thinking this one could maybe be like a pocket, kind of like that. Be a pretty deep pocket, but I think that's okay. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to glue that on there, just like that. paper sitting here and I was like that might look cool Yeah, that looks cool. And this can go right on top. Nice. Oh, I forgot to ink around this. Oh well. So let's trim this off.
cut it down so I can put it in my chopper. Chomper. Straight edge. Oops. Put this straight across the top. That. Then do the corners. And okay, Already have nice writing on it, so I'm just gonna leave it, leave it like that. Okay, and then this one, uh, not sure what to do with this one. I'm not sure if I should cut around it a little more. I'm gonna leave this one for now and decide later so my next my last one is let me get some of this stuff put away um it's the cover i want to put something on the cover So I definitely want this. I know that for sure. So then the question is, should I, I'm, I'm thinking about backing it. And so I was thinking this could go on the front. Um, and I think that would look really cool. I think I might just cut a piece of this out just to see, see what I think. Okay, so this. trim it even a little bit more. Um, let's just cut this down. Nope. Nope. Not there. Need to put the plant on there because I think it comes up above that. Cut it. Okay, so it needs to be cut. Cut that off, and then right above here. Okay. Work. It's not going to work. This piece of paper is not going to work. 
What was I thinking? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. I know I'm wasting a lot of paper, but I'd like to put this like straight down the middle, like where all the where all the dots are. I kind of like that. So let's just glue that on and then cut. Sorry if I'm out of view, I just am using the glue stick over here on, on a glue page. Okay. This would go right there. This will fit on the cover actually. I can always trim it off if I need to, which I think I will. Okay, let's see how this fits. Okay, yeah, it needs to be trimmed down a little bit more. Unless, well, no, I can put it under there. That looks cool. One thing I did do um, off camera, which I'll show you on the next video, is um, put washi tape on there. And before I forget, the word for this video, number three, is composted. <laughs> uh, love that. Yes, I said composted. Never thought I would say that on my YouTube, my art, art and creating YouTube channel. Would you hear the word compost? But there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I really like that. I think that looks really, really, really cool. Okay, so. Yeah, let's put it down. Well, that took a lot less time. Than I thought I would. I was going to try some fabrics, but I really, really like the idea of using um, the Edith handwriting. It's been really fascinating um, working on this project because I have, um, I've been reading like her, her script, um, her, 
her words. Um, and it's really cool. She seems like she was, um, she seems like someone I would have liked. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak this under here again, hopefully. There we go. And maybe pull it up a teeny bit. Okay. There we go. Well, that was exciting. So let's see what we finished. Okay, so we got uh, a pocket and two tags and a cover for the journal. Yeah, looks nice. Okay, so I know I said this last time, but for sure, next video we're going to be putting things in this book so i'm pretty excited about that so thanks for watching um if you know people who uh like edith holden or junk journaling or people who just want to get in on a prize um i would love to have you share this video and this challenge that carol at free spirit arts and myself are hosting that would be amazing and I think, I think I want to make this a giveaway video. Um, what am I going to give away? I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. So, um, I just planned this just right now. I want to know, what is your favorite junk journaling embellishment? So what is your, like, go-to... Or maybe it's not even, you don't even use it. Maybe it's something that you like when you see someone else using it. Um, I would love to know. So uh, in the comments, answer that question. Um, and don't forget what the word of the video is for um, the grand prize drawing. But for this, um, I'll have something planned for next video to tell you what your prize is. But yes, please answer that question. What is your favorite junk journaling embellishment and I appreciate you watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and because this is an Edith Holden collab video please make sure that you comment um, because uh, liking and commenting and subscribing is how you get entered in for the grand prize drawing and if you want to have a chance to win whatever it is I'm going to give away <laughs> um, then I would love for you to um, answer that question in the comments, which is what is your favorite junk journaling embellishment? And uh, I love you all. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.